Pio, I'm going to show you today how to configure layer 3 interface to get access to uh, internet. So uh, first thing before I start, I have my switch uh, pre-configured and my PC pre-configured with IP address. So if you go to the Palo Alto, I have to click on network, interface, choosing your outside interface, which will be this, choosing layer 3, virtual router, security zone, if you don't have one, you can choose here to create, you can call it on trust. Add in your IP address, which in my situation will be 10.10.10.1. 10, 10. You can create a management interface. Let's say you can call it ping only. Using ping. If you want to have uh, access from outside, you can choose uh, HTTPS as well or SSH. And that's basically it for, for the interface. For the zone, you can also create the zone separately from here if you want to. You can see I created from my interface and been applied straight away. The next one we will create is our LAN interface, which is then will be layer 3. Virtual router, creating new zone, which you can call Rust. IP address will be 172.16.20. You can choose the one you already created for pink. Once you finish with the interfaces, the next bit you need to do as well, you need to create a static route so if you go to virtual router click on your virtual router go into static click at choosing the outside interface which in our case is uh, one slash one and the next hop which will be ten dot ten dot ten dot two Once you finish with this, you need to have a policy to allow this. So if you click here, let's say internet access. So you should have to choose your zone, which is gonna be from trust, which is from your LAN inter zone. You can leave this is just going to be basic uh, rule I create, but you can tidy up, you know, and have your users and everything else you want to do. Then you choose your zone out, which is untrust. It's going to everywhere. Application. We can you can call SSL. Let's say you want a pink, so we can test the pink. Service, you can leave by default. Action is going to be allow. And click OK. I have an old rule here, which is I'm using for testing purposes. And that's why usually, you know, uh, it's not recommended to have this because you open your firewall to the world. And the last bit you need to do, you need to go to NAT and create a NAT rule. You're going to have your source zone, which is going to be trust, your untrust, destination, this, translate the packet, dynamic IP port.
and we uh, press commit. It is uh, finished. We can go and uh, do uh, our test. You can see we get access to internet. It look like if you do ping google.com, you can see uh, ping is uh, working and we have internet access. So that was for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.